I'm back with another video. Today we have House Republicans sign a bill into law automatically registering all men from 18 to 26 for the military draft. The party of cutting veterans benefits demands we create more veterans. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Let's see what he got to say about this. House Republicans passed a bill this afternoon to automatically register all men from 18 to 26 for the draft. Yes, right now, today, all men 18 to 26 are automatically registered for the draft, including, I'm assuming, Baron Trump, who's 18. Um, yeah. A five-time draft dodger that called the 80s his personal Vietnam. That guy demanded this be done by his sheep. And poof, it's done. It's almost like they already knew he was going to demand it. I wonder if there was a plan somewhere that talked about all the things the Republicans wanted to do if, God forbid, Trump got back into office and all the different laws they were trying to pass um, to keep this project to go on um, on track. You know, the Project 2025? So registering women's menstrual cycles, girls' menstrual cycles, coast to coast, no exemption abortion ban, Getting rid of income tax for the rich. The 99% still have to pay income tax. The rich people and corporations will. Um, the oil companies are writing their own legislation because they ponied up the $1 billion. The business owners, the big businesses like Amazon and places like that, also ponied up a couple of billion dollars so they could write their own legislation too. So we have to look forward to that if Trump gets in the office. Um, <coughs> yeah, and his secret police force that's not going to be a secret um, putting people like Paul Manafort um, Michael Flynn Roger Stone Steve Bannon into cabinet positions overseeing our nuclear arsenal overseeing the treasury that is who you're voting for if you're voting for Donald Trump. That is what you're voting for. Now I guarantee you, Barron's not registered for this draft. And if his name is drawn, I guarantee you his bone sp spurs that run in the family will pop out so quickly he'll get a deferment just like his daddy. These are our children. For their wars. And instead of side by side with NATO and having allies, we're going to be fighting for the other side of history. The mustache side. <laughs> the mustache side. Uh, Hitler? You guys don't care enough to even notice. They it's don't. It's all about the vote. It's all about your anger, your anger. It's all about your arrogance. <coughs> Draft, as of today. House defense bill passed. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to spew my thoughts now. I know it's unpopular, and to some it is popular. Uh, yeah, I haven't voted before. I know. Um, scratch all that, though. Um, I know a lot of people like Trump, and a lot of people dislike him as well. The worst I've ever seen doing what he did is Biden, and he fell off that bike. You shouldn't have been knew it was something wrong with him. 
But what threw me for a loop with Trump when he was pretty much talking about backing Israel and what they got on. It is real. I hope you know they're not fighting for the righteous. They're not on the righteous side of history. And the United States is simply they bitch. And I'm authentic with myself. Being I'm in the United States of America. You would think that I want the best for the United States of America. And you back in Israel. I don't. Honestly speaking, it's not the people of Israel and it's not the people of America. It's some good people of America that's on the outskirts that isn't the general populace, the dumb, deaf, and blind. Just like it's some very good people in Israel that isn't a part of the populace, the deaf, dumb, and blind. They're on the outskirts. They're the exception to the rule. The smaller population. So when they speak up, the echoes isn't loud enough for them to be heard because it's very few and far in between. But, um... And shout out to the good people of Israel and shout out to the good people of so-called America. Before it was Tamiri, right? Before you colonized and stole everything. But man, me going through all I went through and even my people and my loved ones, what we went through. And it's just residual effects of what we what we in right now due to what these colonizing forefathers did to our ancestors. We don't even own no land. Even if you do have a Elodio title, you still never really own no land. They can do what they want with you. My best friend that I ever had growing up, the first person to tell me she was proud of me being my grandma, died due to health compli health complications due to the standardized FDA-approved poison, the American diet. I take that personally. Just because I smile at you and may shake your hand, I still believe in karma. Good karma, if you want to call it that, or bad karma, no matter the day, age, and era. After all, the past, present, and future is happening simultaneously. Tomorrow is right now. Yesterday is right now. Right now is right now. And they proved that to you for the ones that need the logistics. Um, so, yeah, I believe in the eye for both of your eyes if you did it on purpose. I take it personally. I know the last human zoo for so-called black people was just in 1958. It's people still alive that went through that slavery shit. What was that, just about 150 years ago? It's not, and you try to make it seem like it's ancient. Nah. Again, the past, present, and future is all happening simultaneously. I believe in... Karma, no matter the day, age, or era. America. The FDA, the CIA, everything that falls underneath anything, government, and Pentagon. You are my enemy. I just so happen to be in America. I'm indigenous and aboriginal to the land. Hell, it's pyramids, obelisks, monuments, Brahmanas in China and all across the world with depictions of people that literally look just like me. My same complexion and everything. I'm indigenous and aboriginal everywhere. But yet you still got these people thinking they're black, which is void of color in Black Laws Dictionary. And it goes against them in your judicial system. They they dead on the shores. Maritime law of this corporation, America. It's corp right there because that's a body, a corpse corporation. You dead on their waters. For everything you did, for me even having... A problem with my own brother, right? Due to the installation, the programming he have in his head, and he don't see. He see through the eyes of. He see through the eyes of his. He see through the eyes of. Of the ones that did the following to his ancestors, and it's still relevant. It's still in him through epigenetic traumas in his veins, so he look at his own reflection with that same disdain. And I know it's your fault. If you never existed, we are still being. Vermonters and obelisks and my we are not in obelisks, but we'll be around those things. We wouldn't be entrapped with four walls and being the, the angles on the walls literally usurp our energy. And you attacking us so much, you attacking us in so many ways. The um the dye in your genes. That's the reason why certain people some people don't wear jeans. That the dye, it get into the largest organ on your body being your skin and have negative effects down to the metals and the deodorant, the toothpaste. The mouthwash, the it just we being attacked in so many ways. Even the education system, you're not being educated, you being indoctrinated by John D's Rockefeller Warlord curriculum. After all, school means scolay etymology, like to hold back or to train a pet. You're not holding me back, and I ain't no fucking pet. Yeah, for everything. Tuskegee experiments. You're not indigenous or aboriginal nowhere. You don't have a biological identification to the planet, meaning you can't tell someone where you come from exactly. And it's facts, and we all know what to be. 
you colonized, you stole, you raped, R-worded, flayed, boy, you adrenochrome, necrophilia, bestiality, incest, molest, you did everything to everyone on the planet, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It's about time you get karma. I feel like everyone would have been attacked your ass if we wasn't in the way, God's chosen people. It's so bad someone stole their title of being God's chosen people. We all can look outside of ourselves where you should be able to, to really assess. It don't, it's the easiest thing ever. And really look, who is God's chosen people? Okay, who's the most oppressed? Who such as us? Who do they keep back? We all see. Who influenced the world? We get in combat, sports, or whatever. Who beating everybody ass? It's not. It's, it's like domestic violence at this point. It's not the same. But how do you expect to really beat the original? That don't make sense. Prototype. I'm God's man. You regular man. It's not the same. You have recessive and dominant genes. I'm dominant genes. I don't need suntan lotion. I'm not getting melanoma. I'm not going blind from sun gazing. I can sunbathe. It's not the same thing. The standardized biology book do not got nothing to do with me. My shit is totally different. And your genealogy is directly connected to your psychological state. That's why I see people act out certain right ways and it's an ongoing pattern with these people. And then you look, you look, it makes sense. It makes sense. But um, I know I'm kind of everywhere here, but everything pertains to one another. Like we're all connected to the collective conscious. We're God's chosen people. But God created aliens too, and aliens created a, a fucked up science project gone wrong. Or probably didn't go wrong. They wanted you to do what you're doing. You did a bidding. You the butt of the joke at the end of the day. It take a special kind of stupid to really... Put yourself in them positions. You get order from the Pope and you act the papal inquisitions and all kind of ancient torture devices that's still on display in the museums. Special kind of sick, twisted people. But yeah, I know all this. And it's a trillion other things I know that I'm not, I don't feel like talking about. It will elongate this video more than I would like to be here to discussing this topic. You did all this to my people and to everybody around the world and then we just pawns in the way if we was never here they'd have been attacked america and destroyed it it would have been a third world country right now but that's going to pan itself out somehow how it's supposed to because after all we ain't doing nothing to nobody in the world we ain't press no button for the hiroshima and nagasaki we ain't we ain't do none of that i'm proud of that though but yeah I, and again you will be fighting for the wrong side of history america i know i'm in america but they wrong as hell Israel, wrong as hell. I'm talking about your leaders, your Pentagon, your governments, and all that. Y'all took my grandma now. I never forgive you, bitches. And I had to undergo neuro neuroplasticity. I had to make neural pathway connections that I didn't have before to think better, to have, to have accessibility to my capacity, my potential. I wasn't afford at the time. I just swindled my way through this matrix, learning little ways, cheat codes to swindle through this shit, and that's how I was afforded the time to do so. So yeah, I had to do that. I had to rewrite my DNA with affirmations and a corresponding feeling and a lifestyle day in and day out due to what your forefathers did to my ancestors and this in me involuntarily, innate through epigenetic trauma. I had to correct that. I ain't get reparated for that. You owe them reparations to undergo and correct what you did to them. That's what this, what's in their veins. And then you laugh at them and think they the butt of the joke because they acting out a way. When you point at them, you got the rest of them fingers pointing back at you. Because if you never showed up, what was they doing? They was operating on Element 115. They knew how these pyramids was built. It been computers. It been things going on. It was perfectly fine before your ass showed up. So, yeah, I had to undergo all that. And I gotta be fucking insane to not have a disdain. I hate these people. It will only be common sense and right and the equal your opposite reaction to have that that feeling towards these people. But yeah, I don't. My heart light is a feather, so I must be insane. It will be sane for you to hate knowing what they did in the position you still in, the predicament. And it's still relevant. You will never amount to their numbers. You will never go diamond nine times. It don't matter how talented you is, you colored. People already got their installation, they programming. Due to you perceptionalizing a group of people in a light that isn't in favor of them, to what people have their preconceived notions of them, due to how you depicted them and how you advertised them. And people perceive it to be the way you intended them to see it. Perception is reality and it's a double entendre. So knowing that, I gotta be fucking insane because my heart light is a feather and I'm supposed to hate and want to rip the chainsaw. 
dangle it from his neck while his head barely hangs on. That's what I'm supposed I'm supposed to. I'm really supposed to, but yeah, I don't. My heart light is a feather. I forgive. I don't forget though. He who forgets his history is damned to repeat it. I won't repeat myself. Can you imagine being flayed? It's people that went through that. And then once all the skin off, they still alive and was tossed into giant pots of oil and boil. And you're a magical white sky doc. Sky Um, What am I saying? Your magical white sky daddy didn't help them. Santa Claus and none of them. Innocent. Even the Junko Furuto stories. Every since I heard that, I ain't been the same. It was just a different kind of vibe from there. It was very murky. Like, like just what, what what goes on like yeah. um yeah so the things i listed and it's a trillion other things i can get into even currently that's why they keep you distracted and bombarded with so many distractions because they figure out more ways to implement to attack you and we all can be honest with ourselves the fda that approved this and you think oh it's safe because they conducted a study you got to follow the money who paid them the money for them to conduct the study and give it the green light that is safe for the body i seen what it did to my grandma who just who is mostly in them suits, the police suits, the uniform, the FDA, the government, the Pentagon, the powerful positions, the Pope, right? They share his settings, his biological makeup is relevant because they're your people. You need to handle your fucking people. Otherwise, I got to revert to Muhammad Ali. He said, if a group of people, a mob chasing me of Caucasians or whatever, and I'm going in the door and some of them good along the pack, am I going to stay there and find out? No, I'm going to shut the fucking door. You damn right. You beck them. Just like us. It's up to us, too, to find out who is the weakest link. You seen what happened to Malcolm X? It could have been by somebody that shared his settings that simply bribed the guy, threatened him, or he was envious or jealous. Get your hand out of my pocket. They got rid of my man's Malcolm X. You damn right. I don't want to be a vocalist. I don't want to be a revolutionary. We're talking with verbiage. I'm hands-on. When do the hands-on part start? And I, ain't fight, I, ain't, I am not fighting on the wrong side of history for the bad guys. I'm not. I would never fight alongside these colonizers of what you did to my people and what we still going through currently. Fuck you, bitch. You lucky I don't hate you. And I don't. Because, again, I ain't even finna put you on this pedestal. You's a peasant. I'm God's man and you regular. We not the same. So, yeah, be happy in that, that I've, I've shown you that. Be happy in that, that I don't hate you. I don't feel no tight way about it. I know the truth about you, though. Yeah, just be happy about that. Like, what more do you want from me? And Tyree's voice, what more do you want from me? Like, I don't hate you. And you want me to fight alongside? Blow the, off the old ass hunting rifle with an AR ornament drawn from a trail tournament and go to war for the wrong side of history because of people starting bricks now and got rid of you because you've been bullying everybody. And these oil companies, we should have been driving off water, but you can't control that resource. I'm sick of you bitches. I will never fight alongside you ever. I promise you before that happen, I will eliminate my own so-called teammates. I will join other countries. Treason. I promise you. You can bet your ass on that one. I'll take that shit personal. I know what my grandma went through. I know what the people before then. I still hear the ancestors. They went through something. Let's say hypothetically somebody tied you up, right? They ain't got to. They just want to do it for the hell of it. And they do, you know what I'm referring to, to your wife and your daughter and your son and rip their head out and all that in front of you and render you useless. No matter the day, age, or era, wouldn't you want your get back? You should. Wouldn't you hate? You should. It's the equal your opposite reaction. Demons only understand death, so death is what you give them. It's no compassion. It's no penetrating their heart with words. So, yeah, I know we all will want that get back no matter what. And I'm nothing like Dr. Martin Luther King. I believe in the eye for both of your eyes. Meaning the generalized statement, if I could be, oh, an eye for an eye. No, I say leave me alone. The love, the mercy, the benefit of the doubt is in the warning. You still proceed to hit me with a slingshot and knock out my eye. And now I'm Fetty whopping. I got to live my life with this defect. I price point my eye. I say my eye is worth you and your whole fucking family treating our back. Am I wrong? No, that's how I so choose to retaliate. You can say your ass worth another ass. I say my ass worth you and your whole family tree. It's me. It's an app the beholder after all. So yeah, I know what, what happened, what's still happening. 
then we just supposed to smile and get over it but other people can hold up their pains and have reminders and laws to protect them as they should so history won't repeat itself for them but yeah i see what's going on trust me don't none of that shit mean nothing donations money you're smiling you're thinking you're helping someone up you're not really helping shit out because if you never showed up, wherever land we resided at, it was ours. We didn't have to worry about no stress of paying no bills. You live and do what you want and what, you, what your passions is and you do that and make the world a better place. Backwards, like. So you think just because someone is donating money to you or giving you something, oh, don't speak on that because it can fuck up your relationship with your people. Then they ain't really your people if they ain't for the righteous cause. So... I see it all more than I'm willing to express in this video. So just be happy. I don't feel no type way about you. I have value, love, and appreciation for all life. But that can be from a distance too. That don't mean I want you in my circumference at all. But may you get what you need out of life. Because there shouldn't should nobody be homeless. No veterans, Caucasian, indigenous, aboriginal, what you call black or African American, which is incorrect. African American, that's two continents. It's a misnomer. Yeah, a lot of you still do that. And you got master's degree from your slave master. You had high GPAs. You was valid Victorian. And you still, you still missing what you're saying, huh? Calling people two continents. You a fucking idiot. So, yeah, I don't feel no type way, but I'll never forget. An opportunity presents itself. I believe in the eye for both of your eyes if you did it on purpose. I need you to feel it to a degree. So when you can come to an agreement and make a truce and you know what that was like when I got mine back that you don't never want that to happen to you or yours ever again. So you keep it peaceful. But yeah, me, it's just like when they say the jab, trying to scare people. I'm not easy to scare. I'm not. Um, you can't scare me. That's what you use fear tactics. You got a lot of people, you got the populace, the collective conscious, a, ma a majority of them, a large portion of them paying with their attention, their energy. Everything is energy vibrating at different frequencies. They see in this, they, it's, they scare, it's tugging on their heartstrings and they actualize, come about, manifest and materialize a reality they don't want for themselves as a collective on a mass scale. Together, you're a God. They showing you things so you can pay with your attention and manifest this. That's what they want. I don't pay this shit no attention. I'm anti-ax. I will never get no shots. I know you ain't doing nothing to build me up. No. We in a project. It's an experiment. We project in our experience and not even know it. Like, and then giving our power to some external source that we don't know about. Junko Fruto, she was innocent as hell. God or Jesus didn't help her. And you can't square that. I can look at it from her perspective to a degree. Meaning if I went through that. God can't hug me or love me past my pain. I went through that and it was real. I don't care if this is a light cold matrix, which it is. It was real and I went through it. Pain is in the mind, but damn it, couldn't get rid of it. It was there. And you felt that. You can't torture that person. I actually watched them go through that. And I will ever let that go. I will never let that go. At that point, I will turn into the devil. How the devil came about being a devil at that point. But it will be slightly different because I don't believe in imposing your will on someone else. I don't believe in doing something to someone that you can't take yourself. Coward bully. And I think for myself, I'm a very free thinker. John D. Rockefeller and his warlord curriculum failed miserably. I skipped school. I was stepping out like stepdaughters. You seen Steve Harvey's stepdaughter? Yeah, I was not going. I got intelligent when I left that bullshit. Sitting at a desk all day, your ass hurt. You, you ain't even got the clothes you need another day. I ain't even had clean socks at the time. My elbows on, just showing on, just cold as hell in this cold ass classroom. Like, that shit was not for me, and I know if I'm fortunate enough to have kids in the future, my son not going to fuck with that. He's not going to be around you. He's not going to have your birth certificate, your social. He's not going to be eating your poison food. He's not going to be taking showers with your fluoridated water. He's not going to be around you. You're not going to be able to doctrinate him. He's not going to get blood drawn. You're not going to put no shots on him. If you get too close, he will put shots on you for real. I'm going to let him in. That's not going anywhere. I'm going to tell him the real history of what you did to everyone on the planet. You gonna know what's up. He's gonna be a walking James Bond, John. Where he's gonna be competent, capable, and sharp. He's gonna know psychology. He's gonna know that you have default settings. He's gonna know that you don't know how to change your settings. He's gonna know how to change his settings. So 
So yeah, you better hope I don't get to do what I want to do, bitch. Because if I do, I'm a single-handedly, solitarily change the world myself. Solitary archives. You better hope. I'm going to have tripwire for your ass. I hear you trip over. I'm rolling out the bed with a shotgun underneath the pillow. I know this shit is... I know it's dangerous. Life will exploit you for what you don't know. It's about people, places, and things. You're going to you're gonna go places. There's going to be people there with things. Meaning they got home advantage. And the people could just be bad. And the things they can have is machetes, shotguns, or whatever to do to impose their will on you. You seen the Hiroshima and Nagasaki before? No. Not what was that? It was one of them. Where they cut the females' breasts off, pour kerosene on, in her, and set her on fire right before they are worried at her. American soldiers, right? I will never fight alongside you, you bitch. A lot of your soldiers is a bunch of Jeffrey Dahmer's. They just in it for the thrill of getting off on somebody, doing something to someone that they can't take themselves. But yeah, some good people in there, and there's some people in there that think they're doing a good thing. You're not. You're being played for a fiddle. But shit, if you dumb enough to go for it, oh well. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't give no fuck. You don't give no RIP for me. I don't give you no energy. I use my energy for self, and I lend it to others that I feel like that is... You will feel it. You ever walk past someone and you don't give them money for that reason? You not you just don't feel it like God, whatever it to be, don't give you that. Not to say he's not going to receive it. Maybe a whole nother energy or archetype that's supposed to do at a different date or time. But then others and then you give them, you feel compelled like you're supposed to. So yeah, I'm going to lend my energy to those in need till I can truly help. And I'm going to keep it myself. You will not usurp my energy. I ain't asked to breathe in chemtrails, bitch. I ain't asked for GMOs. I didn't ask for none of this. I didn't ask to speak one fucking language. That's a handicap. Everybody on the planet got their own language except for us. So, yeah, I think this shit. I don't think nothing of it. I really think it's funny, like when he came out with the jabs. I think it's so funny that I just don't laugh about it. It got to a point, I'm typing so much that when people say a joke or something, I literally say LOL. It got to that point. I'm aloof. I don't care. But that bill, you can take that bill and shove it up your ass. The day you try to think you gonna put me on a team, I'm gonna turn around and squad wipe my whole team solo. I'm gonna jump off a box, spin, trick shot, and get a collateral on my own teammates. They ain't my team. They thought they was my team because I'm born in America. No, I know what you did to my people, Federals. You touch my dog, Holmes. I know what you did to my Mexican partners. I know what you did. I know what you did to everybody. You did something to everybody on the planet. Bitch, we don't forgive you. And when we move out the way and the whole, all everybody, China, North Korea, everybody going to attack your ass all at once. And it's going to, you've been bullied for a long time. Propagating propaganda, false information, indoctrination, no education. At the end of this, man, I just want to go to some place where it's my own utopia, like having tailor-made to my liking. So however many lifetimes I ever lived with, all my memories in there, my nostalgia, the music I grew up on, it made it worth it, worth it to come down here, the experiences here on Earth. Just one song, Pursuit of Happiness by Kid Cudi. I can listen to that forever. Like It's like it's a hit and it's a classic, and it should be bigger than what it is. But some people not even going to check it out due to how we perceived off rip. If he was a share, uh, if he had a whole nother biology, that probably would have been something times diamond. But yeah, like just the experience that song, there's so many songs that's in that realm to me. Like it's just near and dear to my heart. It's encapsulated. I listen to it, take me back to a specific point in time in my life to what things weren't perfect, but it was mine. And things were a lot more simple. Well, I guess it was never really simple, but the programming that I had downloaded, if that's all you're aware of, then yeah, it seemed simple, but. It was worth it just to get, just to experience Pursuit of Happiness by Kid Cudi. It was worth it. To see the dope things that humans can do from parkour to boxing to the highest extent and the arts and crafts. Like, there's some dope-ass Caucasian people out there, too. Hate that it gotta be this way, but... We can't weed them out. You gotta weed them out. Just like we gotta weed out the ones that can be bribed, threatened, envious, and jealous that can do that to another Malcolm X. But I feel like sometimes Earth is not meant to be a fixed, a corrected ground or, I don't know. But yeah, reverting back to what I was saying earlier, I just want to go to my own utopia, tailor-made heaven to my liking, to everything I love and nostalgia to me and 
and a place to where no one can impose their will on you. No one can indoctrinate you. You can discern and it's But yeah, um I'm not worried about this BO one bit. My right hand up to my grandma. You ain't drafting me, bitch. You killed my grandma. And the the rest of my people and we in this position because of you. And you should be happy that I don't hate you. I don't feel no tight way about you. But you asked me to join alongside you too to fight some rich man's war to share his settings. Of course, too, it is. We know it. The FDA is a collective. The majority of them share this settings. That's why you got to correct what's there. They're in your field. You got to do it. We can't do it. You got to do it. Because we ain't going to know which what. We, at that point, we got to press a bomb because we don't know what is what. You got to weed out the weak links just like we got to. Do I see that happening realistically? Nah, I'm a realist as well as a stoicist. And I already know, you can only feel so much pain till it passes. And this life thing here ain't forever. If you don't want it to be, I guess. But, yeah, I'm not attached to life and earth and this bullshit that's, that's here. But it is some dope things, like things I was referring to that are very colorful and lively to me and nostalgic to me. So, it was worth the experience still, but... I know I was everywhere here, but this is how my mind worked. Supercomputer. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video if you indeed like the video. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. I wish you would try to put me front line. I'm going to get a collateral. I'm going to get a score strike. C4, if I C4, V and I'm War Vest, that War Vest, a Clay Mobile, Score Strike, I'm going to, I'm going to bring the Juggernaut out. Us versus them, man, I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't feed this attention. We're not going. The, this generation is TikTokers and want to be influencers. It's a beautiful thing, though. They just want to have fun. A lot of them misguided and indoctrinated due to being simply a product of this construct. But nonetheless, they want to have fun. They're a good group of kids for real. They could be doing some, And you think you want to take them from war zone, call of duty, to putting them on a war zone and call them for duty? <sighs> Shit, I ain't got to be here forever. Do I really want to be an ascended master? I mean, yeah, I can... Uh, I can materialize and dematerialize as I will. No one can impose their will on me. I can go to wherever I want to go. I'm limited by my imagination. Ain't no limiters on me, so that means it's infinite. I can do anything. Yeah. I'll see you on the next video, man. I'm out.